So Kim, how how did you feel to see your team do so do so fantastic in the second half? That feels good. Um, you know, it's not always how you start. Um, it's it's how you finish and how you play. You might not start out well, but it's really great to pull it together and, and pull out a victory. Okay. So, you know, the last eight games was tough because they had to clinch a playoff spot. Um, what do you think uh, was said in the locker room for them to turn it up? Because they played w really well down the, the, the stretch to clinch the, the, the spot. Well, first and foremost, a lot of the players – got healthy uh, because we had two or three players that were out you know with injuries um, because of the Olympic break a lot of the players were able to get rested up and I think just mentally coming back after the Olympic break it was a month off that, that the WNBA shut down due to the Olympics after that break it just kind of gave the players an opportunity to get some rest some well needed rest because as you know in the long off season of the WNBA the players go to Europe and play so they're literally coming out of Europe off of a seven eight or nine month season depending on how far they go in the playoffs in Europe uh, right into the WNBA, which the level is very, very tough and very, very difficult, and then right back to Europe. So a lot of the players, and, and it's, you know, don't get a chance to rest. So I think the combination of all of those things helped them to come back and to refocus, um, you know, and to, and to dedicate themselves. So I think more than anything, it was that, you know. And but but Cappy has been a, a very vocal person um, that you know strives to to get the players motivated as well. So what does Cappy and team have to do to win this first playoff game? They just have to fight. They have to really play tough defense. They have to just take no for an answer. I mean, you know, like, like they just have to give no. You know, they just have to say, no, you're not going to do this. You're not going to have your way on offense. You know, we're going to fight and scrap for everything. And I believe if they are really tough and they play basketball to their abilities, I really believe that we can come out of this first round. Now to you. You have such a lovely voice. Thank you. Um, is this the first time you sing the national anthem, or you've done it a few times? I feel like you've done it. Well, this is the 16th oh. year. It's tradition okay. that um, on Fan Appreciation Day, which is the last home game of the regular season um, since I was a player, I would be out there warming up with the team, and you know, and they would just let me calm down for about three or four minutes, you know, to catch my breath, and then when they, when it was time for the national anthem, I would sing the national anthem. So it's been a tradition that I've gotten a chance. So um, we're just following tradition here. <laughs> and do you have any projects coming out? Um, I am working. I'm recording right now. Uh, I have some shows coming up, so I, I know I need to um, let you know, give you my information uh, so that you know. Um, I have a birthday coming up in November, and so um, I definitely want that to be a show, okay. uh, doing something really, really cool. So, yeah, I have a few things in the works. Okay, folks, November, the show, it's coming. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Kim. Thank you.